Schizoaffective disorder is a chronic mental health condition characterized by symptoms of schizophrenia, like hallucinations or delusions, and symptoms of mood disorder, such as mania and depression. Schizoaffective disorder is actually made up of two different disorders. Schizo refers to the psychotic symptoms of schizophrenia, which can affect the way a person thinks, acts, and expresses their emotions. This can also affect how someone perceives reality and interacts with others. Affective refers to the mood disorders or severe changes in mood, energy, and behavior. It is important to have a solid understanding of the causes and symptoms to begin managing symptoms early on. While this disorder does not have a cure, finding treatment can significantly help individuals manage their symptoms and improve their overall quality of life. Let's begin our conversation by highlighting important causes and risk factors related to schizoaffective disorder. When it comes to schizoaffective disorder, research has shown it to be more common in women as it presents high heritability. There have also been studies that suggest that people with schizophrenia have shown there are small differences in the structure of their brains. However, these changes are not seen in all individuals with schizophrenia and can occur in people not diagnosed with a mental illness. What they do suggest is that schizophrenia may partially be a disorder of the brain. The neurotransmitters in our brain can also play a role in someone developing this disorder. Neurotransmitters are chemicals that carry messages between brain cells. It is believed that there is a connection between neurotransmitters and symptoms of schizophrenia. These chemicals help nerve cells in the brain communicate with each other. An imbalance of these chemicals can throw off the connections, which can lead to symptoms. Los desórdenes esquizofrénicos pueden ser hereditarios. This means parents can pass down the tendency to develop the disorder to their children. Risk factors of schizoaffective disorder can be environmental as well. A few examples of environmental triggers include stressful situations, emotional trauma, as well as viral infections. These factors can trigger the disorder in individuals with an inherently higher risk. Lastly, a major cause of schizoaffective disorder is substance use disorder. Substance use disorder and addiction can make intense emotions more difficult to cope with. Individuals with schizoaffective disorder are more sensitive to the effects of drugs or alcohol, which often results in negative consequences. Schizoaffective disorder is known to manifest as symptoms of schizophrenia. So what are the common symptoms of schizophrenia to look out for? Delusions are the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. These involve having false, fixed beliefs despite evidence to the contrary. Hallucinations, much like delusions, are felt by the individual but are not present in real life. However, instead of beliefs, hallucinations involve hearing voices and seeing things that are not actually there. Those with schizophrenia may also exhibit bizarre or unusual behaviors and have impaired communications and speech. You may notice the individual show signs of depression, like feeling down or worthless, and they may even experience problems managing their personal care, like keeping the house clean or keeping up with personal hygiene. Oftentimes, schizoaffective disorder can be challenging to diagnose as it includes symptoms of both schizophrenia and mood disorders, such as bipolar. There are two types of schizoaffective disorder, including bipolar type and depressive type. To be diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, patients must exhibit the following symptoms. A period of major mood disorder, either depression or mania that occurs at the same time that symptoms of schizophrenia are present. Delusions or hallucinations for at least two weeks or more in the absence of a major mood episode. Symptoms that meet the criteria for a major mood episode are present for the majority of the total duration of the condition. The abuse of drugs or medication is not responsible for the symptoms. There are two categories of symptoms related to schizophrenia, including positive and negative symptoms. A good way to remember these is that a positive symptoms add, while negative symptoms take away from the individual. For example, 
Positive symptoms include things like hallucinations and repetitive movements because they add to what the individual is experiencing. Negative symptoms may include things such as the inability to show emotions, apathy, trouble speaking, and withdrawal from social situations and relationships. These negative symptoms take away from the individual's life. While symptoms can often overlap, schizoaffective disorder is a lot different from other mental health conditions like bipolar. Bipolar can cause strong shifts in one's energy and overall mood that can switch from one moment of extreme excitement to periods of severe depression. Symptoms of schizophrenia that individuals diagnosed with the schizoaffective disorder commonly experience are much more severe and include intense hallucinations and delusions. To put it simple, those with bipolar experience intense thoughts and emotions that constantly shift and affect their perception, while those diagnosed with the schizoaffective disorder perceive actual sounds and images that can distort reality. There are a few different regimens that are used to treat patients diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder that can help manage their symptoms. According to practice data from SDI, Verispan, the most common regimen is antipsychotic, a combination of antipsychotics and mood agents follow closely an antipsychotic antidepressant mix is next. Lastly, a combination of antipsychotics, mood agents, and antidepressants is used with 18% of patients. In addition to medication, people with schizoaffective disorder are highly advised to attend psychotherapy sessions. Psychotherapy sessions can be done on an individual and group basis. In individual therapy, patients can get help normalizing their thought patterns, which plays a huge role in reducing the symptoms. This type of therapy can help individuals better understand their condition and learn healthier ways to cope. Now in group therapy, individuals can discuss the real life problems with others who can relate. These supportive settings can help patients reduce social isolation, provide a reality check during psychosis, and promote a routine positive patterns and behaviors. Intervening as soon as possible when you believe someone you love is struggling with schizoaffective disorder is important in developing skills to cope. Going too long without understanding and actively treating the condition can only worsen the symptoms over time and make it harder to manage. The earlier people with this disorder seek help, the more effective they will be able to cope with their symptoms. Having a routine is crucial in developing healthy habits and patterns. A routine can help a person stay on track and give them something positive to focus on during this time. Researchers have classified coping strategies into three different categories, problem-focused, emotion-focused, and avoidance-focused. Problem-focused coping strategies actively solve an underlying problem, cognitively reconceptualize it, and potentially minimize its adverse effects. Emotion-focused coping involves strategies to restructure cognitions to modify the emotional response. This involves emotional regulation without attempts to change the situation, but instead by altering the ways the situation is handled or by changing the subjected appraisal of the situation. And finally, avoidance focus, much like it sounds, involves avoidant distracted coping. These are strategies to avoid a stressful situation via self-distraction like giving up, being in denial, or engaging in another task instead. If you're wondering where you can access community resources for your loved one, speak with your doctor or therapist. You can also find helpful resources online. A lot of times we may write off unusual behavior from friends or family, but staying educated on symptoms can help individuals get the help they need early on. By understanding schizoaffective disorder, its causes and its symptoms, individuals can better understand how to identify their emotions and behavior patterns and cope with the condition adequately. Thank you for watching this video on schizoaffective disorder on the Mindful Space channel. If you found this interesting, check out our video on the effects of social media on our mental health.